the unemployed. I just want to say it's great to be here with all of you and the National Alliance, which is fighting to fight the unbridled power of the racist police and building the power of the people through community control. I'm also glad to be here at this very spot, Union Square, where so many hungry, homeless, and destitute, destitute workers got their start in the 1930s. On March 6, 1930, the police took their knee off the necks of, of black people in Harlem and came down here and violently attacked 100,000 hungry, homeless, and destitute unemployed workers at this very spot. Unemployed councils soon mushroomed across the country, giving workers collective strength and confidence to undertake the famous hunger marches to Washington, D.C., taking surplus food from warehouses and distributing it to hungry people, taking back the furniture to over 77,000 evictions. Read Labor's Untold Story. Many of these activists use the same organizing techniques to help establish the CIO several years later. If we base ourselves on the unemployed councils of the 30s, our starting point today must be addressing the massive unemployment crisis, which is approaching that of the 1930s depression. The U6 unemployment index, which undercounts right now is 14.2%. And if you think unemployment is going down, you've got another thing coming. If, if the states don't get federal aid, if working people don't get federal aid, if small business doesn't get federal aid, there's, there's going to be even more layoffs. 21,000 public workers in uh, New York City affecting my union. And who does this affect most? as is the case with stop and frisk, as is the case with COVID mortality, it's black and Latinx victims of the same structural racism of the system, that's capitalism. We demand adequate unemployment relief, extension of the $600 a month, including contract workers and the undocumented, which has saved tens of millions over the last six months from destitution and homelessness, but we can't rely on Trump and his corporate backers to institute such relief. Don't starve, fight. Don't mourn, organize. The money is there by taxing the rich, the banks and corporation, and moving the money from the bloated military budget and the bloated police budget. We must lobby elected officials, but we must lobby elected officials, but also go with our message to lines of check cashing store lines. At the endless lines at food pantries with our petitions and demands mobilizing for a massive vote to evict Trump on November 3rd from the White House and the fascists and supporters as if millions of lives depend on it and they surely do. I just want to close by saying it's so good to be here with the National Alliance. Same struggle, same fight. And as a union activist, let me just say that labor has a crucial role to play and building labor community coalitions on both issues, just like we did in the 30s. The same corporate forces that privatize our job in a race to the bottom are seeking to bring workers back to unsafe jobs and die for their profits. And the same forces that seek to divide the unemployed from the unemployed are trying to divide us along racial lines. As we said in our car caravan at the National Alliance in Harlem, Money for human needs, not war on black and Latino youth. Fight for the $600. Safe jobs or income now. We're building unemployment committees. Our, our petition is over there. Please sign it. And yes, we've got to build the National Alliance against racist and political repression. Yeah. Yeah.